Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary Root, just on the Fan TV. Back after another video, man. I'm here with my guy, Napping, bro. We're going to talk about this Ravens Patriots game. We didn't get to talk last week about the Dolphins, so we are going to talk about that just a little bit. You know, bear with us, you know, just get a little bit off our chest. One or two thoughts about that, and then we're going to move right on to this game on Sunday, man. Uh, yo, Napping, what's going on, bro? How you feeling? I'm good, man. Felt a little bit, uh, a little bit worse on Sunday after watching that game. Halftime came around. I was sitting around, you know, with family, just eating crabs. Oh, yeah, we good. I ain't got to watch the rest of this. Play after play, start seeing what's really going on. Tuned into the game. Don't know why, um, because it all sunk in after <laughs> what I really saw happen, man. And it was it was crazy because I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I was like, yo, Tua? I was like, yeah, you got Tyreek Hill and whatever, whatever. But I was like, this is still Tua. Like, let's be real here. So we just had him, you know, looking like Dan Marino in that fourth quarter, basically. So, you know, I'm I'm good with that. I'm hopeful for, you know, next week, New England. Um, but I just don't know what to expect anymore. Let's be honest. Man. All right. So quick thought on the Dolphins game. You know, I, I just thought in that fourth quarter, uh, McDonald is kind of a little too cute, bro. Like, you got a bunch of rookies out there. Why are we trying to disguise coverages, yo? Just play too high. Make them throw everything short. Like, the one thing you couldn't do was give up big plays and quick strike offense. And that's the exact thing the Ravens did, give up big play, quick strike offense. So, you know, it is what it is on that front, man. You know, um, we on the next week, yo. That's, that's it. I mean, you know, uh, so this, this today's Friday, but y'all see this video on Saturday. So you know the Ravens will play tomorrow, and that that'll be that. You know, and we we be on to the next one, all right? So uh, real quick, uh, you know Ravens Patriots game preview. So I don't want to talk about who the Patriots have on the on the injury report that might have some importance on the game. So they got nobody out, nobody that's doubtful, but uh, Jacoby Myers is questionable. So we'll see what happens with him. Jalen Mills is questionable. Adrian Phillips is questionable. So those are three guys who probably can have an impact on the game that are questionable right now. So we'll see what happens with that, man. Uh, so we talked about the Patriots, bro. What's, what's your thoughts? You said you watched some, you watched some tape on them. How how you feeling about them? I mean, I like I like their secondary. I definitely I like their secondary. Mac Jones. I'm not sold all the way on Mac Jones yet. I think Mac Jones definitely has some upside. I can see some progress from last year to this year, but at the same time, um, I'm I'm just not I'm not there with him yet. I'm I'm not there. Um, other than that, I mean, I see honestly the Patriots is just like a subpar kind of team, but they always have the potential to knock somebody off. Um, as a result of having Bill Belichick of all people. So you just never know where the game is going to kind of go with Bill. And especially looking at you not know, past times playing um playing the Patriots, you know, that what was that, twenty nineteen, I wanna say, when we um we did our thing, but it was a uh, time after that. I mean it was raining, don't get me wrong, but we we had a time. Um so, you know, this this go around, I mean, yeah, personnel's different and everything like that. We got a different kind of Lamar um, going into this game, but you just never know what Bill has been looking at. You don't know what Bill has been watching. You, Bill probably got uh, getting the plays through the headset from the other team, you know what I mean? Like, the ball probably deflated. You just never know what's going on uh, with Bill. So, um, but, I mean, like I said, the Patriots subpar, but after the Dolphins, I just – I have no expectations right now. I'm still coping with it. I I think that's I think that's fair, bro. I I really do. You know, at that that Dolphins game kind of got us all a little bit shook. But if I can take a major positive out is how well the offense played. You know, so this Patriots defense is the strength of the team, bro. This is a good good defense. I'm looking at some of the numbers. Only they only allow 78 yards rushing. That's near the top of the NFL. Uh, let's go to passing. They're, they're the top in uh, least pass yards allowed as well. They only average giving up 197 yards a game. So this defense is still really, really good, you know. And the Ravens are, are honestly a passing team. At least, at least they should be trying to be a passing team until, you know, guys like J.K. and Gus Edwards come back. 
So it's going to be strength on strength, man. We're going to see, we get to see Judon again. You know, he could, I mean, he was good here. Don't get me wrong, but it's like Sedarius 2.0, bro. They, they, they leave here and they explode in the superstars. So we'll, we'll see what red sleeve Judon got for us. Um, you know, as far as Bill Belichick, you never know, bro. You never know. I mean, he could throw anything out there, you know, and you know, they, they like to, Double team certain guys. So I wonder if they're going to double team Bateman and say, hey, look, or double team Andrews, whoever, and just say, hey, look, somebody else got to win. That's what I'm kind of looking out for. But um, you had mentioned some past games. So I think 2019, obviously, that was here. And then 2020 was in New England, but I was like in a monsoon, bro. So the last time we played the New England, New England Patriots in decent weather, we, you know, we beat them. So hopefully we get some decent weather on Sunday and we, we come back. So, um, Anybody in particular you're looking out for, you know, offense, defense for the Patriots that you might think could uh, break the game over? Matt? <laughs> I mean, that's what it comes down to. Like, I, I know it's so stereotypical to look at the, look at the quarterback, but, like, I think Mac, Mac Jones, I mean, yeah, the defense is, you know, what they are, but I think Mac Jones – is that heartbeat. You know, you always see how Bill has been with Tom and how he just puts the whole Patriot away and he puts everything into the quarterback and making sure the quarterback is the right one. I think we got to look at Mac Jones. I think we got to get pressure on Mac Jones. I don't trust our DBs right now. Um, sorry, not sorry. Um, and I think that, you know, we, we just got to pressure him, honestly. Defense, I mean... I'm looking really for – I don't even know exactly who I would honestly look for in the defense, for real. Honestly, I want to see Marcus Peters actually become Marcus Peters again. I mean, I know it's his first game back and trying to get back in the swing of things, but I need Marcus Peters to start stepping up some um, as time goes on, to be honest with you. Um, and on our offensive side – sorry, I'm just skipping all over the place, but our offensive side, I definitely want us to pro- – our run game, like – don't get me wrong, Lamar is Lamar. He's going to break a 70-something yard at some point in his lifetime. But beyond that, you know, what have we really honestly been doing? I mean, I know we're, you know, still hurting or whatever. And Justice Hill, that was my boy up until I saw that play where he could have turned it up <laughs> and decided to veer left and go out of bounds. I'm like, yo, come on, man. Like, you, you got to do better. You, your vision ain't that bad. I know it ain't. So, um. On the offensive side, I'm I'm looking to Lamar, but I'm really curious to see what Mark Andrews is going to do. Um, Bill knows that we have a solid tight ends all the time. And I think Bill is going to attack him more than he attacks Rashad Bateman um, when it comes to, like, double teaming and so forth. Um, of course, everybody's going to try to, you know how every week is, you know, make Lamar beat you with his arm. Bill respects his arm. And on top of that, we already know how this goes. They tried to say that, uh, what, last year? I want to say we played the Colts. And what he, uh, Lamar went three, 400 yards on him? Something ridiculous. Right. I'm like, so he has a proven arm. Bill knows that. And, you know, I think that now the game plan has kind of changed because I think Bill is going to really realize that our run game ain't the same. And now we got to beat him with the run. And that's where he might play chess with us a little bit. Because I just don't trust it fully myself right now. You brought up a good point with Bill, bro. Like, um, he in his press conference, he mentioned, like, you know, like Lamar Jackson and going into the draft process and things like that, how they, you know, like they kind of liked him or whatever. But then he was like, well, you know, when, when you see when Lamar Jackson gets paid, you'll, you'll know that, you know, what, what he's worth out there. You feel me? So, like, he, he's always been a guy that's respected Lamar. So, you know, if if one of the greatest defensive minds ever can tell you Lamar Jackson is the NFL, you know, all pro quarterback, good got to be respected. And I don't really care what anybody else got to say. Yeah, everybody else's opinion don't really matter on that. You know, they still call him a running back. It's all it's whatever. Um, but yeah, so far as this running game goes, bro, um, it's only until J.K. Dobbins is back, until Gus Edwards is back, I'm expecting more of the same. Like, I, I it's funny because it's like Gray Roman is not really. I don't, I think the Ravens kind of changed their personnel. So I'm kind of skipping all over the place too. <laughs> I think the Ravens kind of changed their personnel. Like they don't have power run blockers no more. Like Linda Baum is kind of a smaller dude. You know what I'm saying? Like Makari is not a traditional big left tackle. 
Ben Powers is whatever. I mean, he won the starting job, but he's whatever. Uh, you know, Morgan Moses, I don't even think you can really say, oh, he's a run blocking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't really have nobody up there like that. So it's like, you make, you put that, and you combine it with the fact that Kenyon and Drake ain't, he was kind of looking like he was released for a reason. You know what I'm saying? He was out there for a reason. And Greg Roman just kind of not using him the right way. Like, he's not a between the tackles back. You know, he should be in the game, third down, running around, catching a pass. That actually be what Kane Drake is out there for. And then your boy Justice Hill, I was I was the same way. I'm like, yo, Justice, bro, you the most explosive running back active right now. And he showed it. That that run was explosive. That vision was bad. <laughs> that vision was bad. <laughs> that vision was bad. But the run was explosive. So I would still like to see Justice Hill get some work though. I mean, you know, obviously he can't have one play to find everything. You know what I mean? It's it's a, it's an unfortunate play for sure. Cause look, he could have scored on that, but you know. Um, I want Justice Hill to get some more work. I do. Now, as far as Mike Andrews goes and you know, Bill double teaming him, he's got he's got to be ready for that. He's got to expect that. But the Ravens have been propping up a guy like Rashad Bateman as wide receiver one. So Hey, this is the kind of game you got to eat in, you know. I, I love what I saw with him versus Xavier Howard. So if he could do it for Xavier Howard, I'm confident he could do it for damn anybody. You feel me? So I'm I'm good on that one. Um, so for the Ravens defense, man, um, it's really one. It's really one guy to me. You know, it's 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 a doctor your way. You know, um, I, I I need to see him. And listen, I understand completely that he's getting double teamed. You know, people are mentioning that he's getting double teamed a lot. Guys are trying to take him off the game. Hey, I get it. He's young. He's fast. He's talented. But all the top guys in the league, you double team. You don't think they double team Miles Garrett? You don't think they double team TJ Watt, the Von Miller? These guys still get to the quarterback, bro. If you want to be one of them guys, you got to be the double sometimes. And and the D line and McDonald got to help him too. Do some stunts, something. Get him, get him free on a guard or something. But I got to see him. He's been good in the run game, which is great. But, you know, big money defensive ends, they, they play the run for sure, but they get after that quarterback. You know, that's, 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 how you, that's how you make your money. That's literally how you make your money. So uh, we'll see what he can do in that, in that capacity. But speaking of D-line, Travis Jones is back. Uh, well, he literally should be back, you know what I'm saying? There was no injury designation on him. So he's a rookie that I was really excited to see from when I saw him preseason and even the pre-draft process. So I'm hoping and expecting big things from him, man. So, uh, you, what you got next, bro? I mean, you kind of just cleared up, you know, with my my other thoughts and my other points. I mean, I feel like I rambled at first, but you know, I had so many different things just kind of running through my head. But I mean, I think this is just going to be a, ma- a matter of just coach versus coach and wit. And I'll be honest with you, maybe this isn't a popular opinion. I know Harbaugh is you know, this coveted piece of, of Baltimore and stuff like that. But let's remember that before Lamar came in, he was on the chopping block. Even the season before that, he was on the chopping block. Now he's getting away ever so slightly with the fact that he has the most dynamic and explosive quarterback in the league. But I think we really need to keep assessing this. And I mean, it's just, just my thoughts just overall. I mean, not even just last game, not even just, you know, a game before whatever, just in general, because I'm starting to feel like it's, it's not, something's not clicking. We obviously need to get rid of Greg Roman. I'm tired of this whole holding on to Greg Roman because you know how the Ravens are when it comes to coaching staff or players, whatever. It's all relationships. It's all, hell, oh, we're buddy, buddy, best friends. They don't always work out. And I want us to, A, get rid of Greg Roman would be, let's start really like looking looking at Harbaugh and kind of putting him in a microscope a little bit beyond having Lamar. And of course we got to get Lamar his money, but I just, I I do want to assess that again, maybe not related to everything, maybe a hot take, but I'm here for it. Uh, You'd be surprised, bro. A lot of Ravens fans feel in the same way that, you know, uh, you John Harbaugh, you know, it's like it's like that Stephen A. Mean, bro. You you under surveillance, bro. You're under surveillance. Um, so with, with Harbaugh, it's like we know 2018. If Lamar don't come in, Joe Black will play that whole season. That's probably a new head coach in Baltimore right now. You know what I mean? We just gotta be honest about that. You know, they go six and one. Lamar saved the job. John Harbaugh now is 
one of the best coaches in the NFL to get, you know. The, the link ain't too hard to to put together. It's number eight, <laughs> you know, it ain't, it ain't like a big mystery, you know what I'm saying? Um, so with that is, it's interesting because, you know, he's always had trouble picking up his coordinators and he's always had trouble getting rid of offensive coordinators even more. So, but I don't want to turn into a whole thing about how about getting rid of offensive coordinators, something like that. But if Greg Roman does, I think that Greg Roman has done some good things in the passing game this year, for real. I think he did some good things in the passing game last year. You know, the Ravens were, I think they had one of the best passing offenses in for the Ravens. Now, I ain't talking about the Italian NFL, but, but for the Ravens since like that year when we had Gary Kubiak and Joe Flacco was just flowing. You know what I mean? So like this year and last year, I like what I've seen from the passing game. Just want to see it be more consistent. But if Greg Roman can't get the run game together, it's almost going to be like, Greg, why you here? Because that's that's your calling card, bro. So if, if Gus and J.K. come back and the run game is still struggling, you know, you, you got T. Martin in the building, Keith Williams. You got guys who are more offensive-minded that can, you know, that, 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 or more pass-heavy-minded that can call plays. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, you know, the Ravens um, going into this game, I, I'm going to put a poll out today uh, on Saturday. So, do you think it's too early to call this game a must-win game, bro? Because, listen, this is this, this where I'm at with it, right? The, pa- the Ravens are a better team than the Patriots, for sure. You know, I think we can agree on that. They should go 2-1 and one to win this game. But also, say you lose this game to the Patriots. You go 1-2, and two, you drop to the Dolphins at the going 21-point lead. You lose to the Patriots, a team that you're better than, and then you're supposed to go play Buffalo? Like, that's that's tough. So I'm thinking, like, you win this game versus the Patriots. Hopefully, you do it in a decent fashion. Build up some confidence, and then you go into that Buffalo game a little bit better because that Buffalo game is going to be serious, bro. They they looking legit. I don't think Patriots is a must win. I think Buffalo is the must win. And, I mean, of course, we want to beat the Patriots so we can have the momentum, kind of have that confidence going. But with Buffalo, I think we need to start approaching them like how we were approaching the Chiefs. Remember Lamar kept saying that was the hump he needed to get over. And then when we beat them, it was just, we thought it was our Super Bowl. I mean, it was crazy. But I think we need to start approaching Buffalo like that because we make it to the postseason. We make it deep. We going to see Buffalo. Buffalo is almost a shoe win because we already know what that talent looks like. So I think that we, um, that's really the must win. I don't think we need to take this week lightly. We saw how taking Miami lightly went and just, Took a turn, um, but definitely try to get that win in this week so that way we can build into this must-win game against Buffalo that, you know, that's going to be under a microscope around the whole league because, you know, we're considered contenders, at least to some extent, you know, by all the pundits. And then you have Buffalo at the top of the AFC. We got to show that at the very least we can fight. Not even if we don't win, we got to show that we can fight. So... That's that's my take on it. So, you know, yeah, Patriots win, but we're going to have to see the game after, too. And I hate to look ahead like that, but this is one of those things. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it Patriots, but um, just real quick on Buffalo. Yeah, I, I just don't want to get embarrassed. That's the main thing, you know, with Buffalo. I, obviously, I want to win the game. I think the Ravens are capable of beating anybody in the league. I don't think there's any team in the league I look like, oh, the Ravens can't beat them. Uh, Buffalo is just hot right now, so you know you never know what to happen. But anyway, uh, I'm looking at the Ravens. Uh, I just want to talk about the Ravens injury report real quick. I did a little video about the game status, but guys that are important players that should play: you got Duvernay, you got Humphrey, um, Brandon Stevens, Pepe Williams, Marcus Peters. These are all guys that should come back that should help the defense. And Duvernay on the offense, obviously, um, you know he's he's having a good season so far. Right back at kickoff, good game for suggest two touchdowns, so he's having a good season. He's important. And um, I mentioned Travis Jones already. But the guy I'm looking at is um, what is the Ravens' plan with J.K. Dobbins, man? I'm just confused about it because if they were going to do this, you know, hold him out and whatever, they could have just put him on IR, have him come back week five versus the Bengals. So we'll see what happens with J.K. And uh, Harbaugh kind of put it out there on Ronnie Stanley that it's on Ronnie Stanley to play because, you know, it's like – He's confident that that Ronnie Stanley can play, but is Ronnie Stanley on the mental side? So he feels like he's his best Ronnie Stanley. Then that's when he'll be out there. That's, that's what Harbaugh said. So um, that's kind of an interesting pressure to put on Stanley. You know, maybe Harbaugh's like, "Hey, look, bro, we ready for you to play. You know, whenever you ready to go, we ready for you." 
Um, so the Ravens are going to the game pretty healthy, which is good. We couldn't say that last year about really any game. So, you know, it's good to see that week three, we're going into games pretty healthy. Um, but I do want to ask you, he, he won't play this week because he's still getting the contract uh, straightened out. But what you feel about JPP, bro? What, what, what can he bring? I mean, a veteran presence for sure. Um, I don't know what to really expect from him. I mean, I'm just kind of going into this with a blank slate. I don't think he's going to be, you know, pro bowl JPP. I don't think he's going to be what he was, obviously, before the whole hand situation and even thereafter, you know, when he was on top, uh, or at least amongst the top. But um, I think that he's going to offer just that, that veteran presence. I think he's going to play a role, and I think he is going to match that role. I don't see him exceeding our expectations. But, again, we just need some depth right now because especially after last year, I kind of have some anxiety um, when it comes to, you know, just having depth and um, and just having the personnel there after all the injuries and so forth. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's ultimately how I see it. So I'm not really going into this thinking that we're going to get a lot out of it. We're, we're going to get just enough and we're going to be fine. All right, bro. Like we we get right wrap it up. So I want to do a couple of things. We're gonna uh, I'm gonna say you know a couple of keys to the game. You can give you a couple of keys. Then you know we gonna give a prediction on, on on the game, bro. So that's how we're gonna wrap it up. All right. So Ravens versus Patriots. If the Ravens can make this game, I'm gonna say that I'm literally gonna probably say the same thing I said about the Dolphins game and the backfire. But if they can put this game on Mac Jones' shoulders and make Mac Jones win this game, that's the best way for the Ravens to play it. Tua did it. I mean, honestly, Tua had a great game. I'm not taking anything from him. He played well. But the Ravens gave him a lot. Busted coverages and things like that. Um, you know, the two guys they need to guard, they didn't guard, you know, in, in Hill and Waddle. So, but anyway, they, they put the game on Mac Jones, and they take away Jacoby Myers. See what else he could do out there, all right? And as far as the prediction, I'm going, I'm going Ravens, bro. I'm going Ravens. I'm feeling like I don't think it's going to be super high scoring. So I'm going to say a, a 24-13 Ravens, bro. That, that, that's how I'm feeling about it, man. What, what you got? Not too far. I'm thinking 24-20. Um, definitely thinking 24-20. I think, of course, we're going to have our little, not shootout, but we're going to get our three in. Um, I can always expect at least two touchdowns with Lamar being back there. Like, that's how I always see it. Um, and the Patriots, I mean, the Bill going to dial something up to get him down there, but at the same time, I don't think he's going to be able to dial up enough. I think once we get rolling, we're going to get rolling if we stay that way. Because, please, I can't deal with another week of what I saw uh, against Miami. I was already stressed. I mean, I didn't ditch my family and everything, sitting out there eating with them, and I didn't tune back into the game. Like, all right, look, like, Y'all cool and all, but it's something a little bit more important right now. <laughs> and I did not expect this. So, thinking 24-20, um, Ravens, if I didn't mention that already. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess, you know, we can give any last thoughts, like I said. So, um, Damian Harris can't have a good game. Ramondre Stevenson and other women can't have a good game. If they're going to beat us, you know, Put it on Mac Jones, bro. You know, I think the Ravens typically when teams get okay, first let's let's start with that. The Dolphins game, that's like a once every I don't know, I, I can't even tell you, but like probably once every 10, 15 years kind of game, at least for a certain team. It might happen to somebody else, but that kind of game for the Ravens shouldn't happen again for quite a long time. So I'm not even gonna put that in my mind. You know, I mean? I'm I'm gonna block that out. <laughs> um, but Usually when good teams like that get embarrassed, it's about how you respond. And if we believe the Ravens to be a good team, how you respond, bro? And, you know, this, this is the team you better than, beat them down. So uh, I don't want to see, um, you know, like this running game for the Patriots get off. Don't want to see that. On, a, on the other side, the Ravens passing offense, keep throwing the ball, yo. I don't have any confidence in the running backs, there's confidence in the running backs back there. Lamar Jackson is... If, he, if we would have won this game versus the Dolphins, bro, we would be, we would be talking about how Lamar is at the top of the MVP race. That's, that's really what we would be talking about right now. But we didn't, so we're not talking about that. Lamar is having the MVP season, whether we want to talk about it or not. I mean, it's two games. Not to get crazy, it's two games. But put the ball in his hands, let him operate, 
And uh, I think that's, that's, that's a very good victory. Yeah. What, what's your last thoughts about it? Pressure Mac Jones. Get, like you said, get back the beaters. Um, offense, I want the run game to get going. And we ain't got a lot back there, but I know that if Bill was going to tag Mark Andrews and there might be some slight little bumps in the road for Rashad Bateman, you know, depending on how Bill dials things up, we got to get going in that backfield. We got to get something going. I'm not looking for, again, Lamar running 70-something yards. I'm not looking for us to break big plays. I'm looking for us to move the chains, you know, three yards of, three yards a run, something simple, but to get us moving those chains because, you know, what do we do if the, you know, if the pass gets shut down? We're just going to give it to Lamar constantly. Lamar will do a bootleg and go, like, no, we're not going to keep putting Lamar in that situation. And, you know, I don't think Lamar wants to be put in that situation either. He got some money on the line, so let's get the run game going. Defense, let's get the pressure. DBs, I pray that you don't crumble. Um, but that's really, really my biggest things. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Lamar got a lot of money on the line, and uh, he 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 making it week by week. So I think this week is gonna be no different. Uh, but that, that's gonna wrap up this uh, Ravens Patriots game preview, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Uh, give me your score predictions, give me your keys to the game, and uh, you know we'll talk about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabe, which is on the Fan TV. I'm here with my guy Nevin, and we out.